Is that straight? Can you see that? Cute. Right, welcome back guys. So today I'm filming the video fashion trends that I'm gonna skip this spring and summer. Also, how do you guys feel about this? Mon is it a monstrosity? Be honest, I feel like it is. Anyway, so the first trend I'm skipping this summer is jellyfish anything. Is that what is called? Am I saying it right? You guys know what I'm on about anyways. The jellyfish style skirts and like the asymmetrical dresses and tops. We've seen like fast fashion brands last year like literally pumping this style out and I got bored of it pretty quickly. However, with that being said, when I was doing my research, I was typing in like jellyfish style things and there were some beautifully like handmade crochet skirts and dresses. Yeah, I, I'm in awe of that and I think I always will. But I think it's just this typical silhouette that we've seen so many times I'm not gonna be participating in. But in more of like an editorial fashion kind of way, I'm all here for it. Also, I saw these photos of this lady and I thought I should include them because it's really cute. Even though that's so not what I'm talking about, I'm in love with that look. <laughs> Next one is grommet pointed ballet shoes and ballet pumps. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a grommet on a bag or in different ways. However, for me personally, I feel like it's kind of giving goth vibes. Um, and I love a pointed shoe as well, so I think it's just a combination of all of it. Like, together seems too much for me. And also, I just think it's so unflattering the way it like ties up the ankle. Like, not for me, but it doesn't say, like, I don't like it on other people, do you know what I'm saying? So next, sorry about that interruption everyone, let me show you my cat. He's not actually my cat, he's my neighbour's cat. Um, I don't even know like, oh my hair, look. So for the next one I've got coastal grandpa style or aesthetic. Now this one really isn't for me and if there's any trend I would be a hater on as well as the tomato girl trend is probably this trend again it's just me like I, it's just not my style at all i think it's like firstly extremely un unpractical so it's not even like it's funny <laughs> i don't even know if you guys get what i'm saying but i think it's just a prefer like i just don't like it it reminds me of that quiet luxury aesthetic uh, not for me next up is colored types now, this is actually a trend that I love, so you're probably wondering, why is she not gonna wear it? And to be honest with you, I wear out their things, but I just think this is like pushing it a bit too much for me. If I was to do a colour tie, I'd... I love the baby blue ones, but I... Even more, I just love the red ones. I don't know, I see them for cheap somewhere, I'll probably get them, just to try it out, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy it. Next on my list is Extreme Leopard Print. Now listen, I love leopard print. I have done for a long time. Because we're seeing it literally everywhere. Like, I know me well enough to know if I go, like, full steam ahead, leopard print this, leopard print that, I think I'm going to get, bored, like, bore myself. And it's something that I've loved for such a long time. And, yeah, I just don't want to do too much of it because I want to keep wearing it. it. Even when people say leopard print is so 2023, I want to still... 2024, sorry. I still want to be wearing it. Next up, we've got good squish scrunchies or any scrunchie of the sort. Now, again, can I just say it doesn't mean I don't like these things. Like, I love cheetah print. I love colour ties. But to be honest, scrunchies, I just don't think it suits me. I think I'm saying that because everywhere I see it, people are just wearing their hair back in a bun. And I'm kind of a bun hater. I don't know what to say about that one, to be honest. Oh, although let me say, when I was on Pinterest, I saw people wearing it in a different way, like not in a bun, and I absolutely loved it. And dare I say, I probably would wear. So we'll see. Next up, mesh plimp soles. Now, I actually don't think these are ugly. I think they're quite fun and cool. There's these ones I've seen everywhere. I can't, I don't know the name of them. I really have tried to find them, but if you guys know, please let me know. Again, it's just like impractical. It's British weather, it's raining all the time. Like, I just, yeah, it's not practical for me, nor do I think I'll be comfy wearing them. 
you know. I love me, like, comfy shoes. I love comfy shoes. Right, next one, we've got lace skirts. Now, I love the look of people wearing lace skirts. I think it's so feminine and soft and beautiful. However, I'm not a skirt gal at the best of times, let alone the worst of times. Um, I just, I've never really felt that confident in skirts or dresses, so I can't see myself wearing it. If I was going to, I'd probably wear it with some jeans or something like that. But again, it's one of those things I'm not gonna like spend 50 quid on a vintage beautiful lace skirt if I don't think I'll like it or like feel good in it. So if I see one in a charity shop, I'll definitely buy it and give it a try, but I'm kind of on the fence with that one. That is everything for today. Hopefully you enjoyed my little list and I've got a few more of these. Again, I just want to say like, I don't hate any of these trends other than maybe the Coastal Grandpa one. Um, but you guys do you. I mean, if I've said something on here and you've got it and you wear it every day, like, keep wearing it. My opinion really means nothing. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.